Okay, so we're looking at another video of circle theorems. And in this video, we'll be looking at theorems where 1. Radius meets tangent at 90 degrees. Whenever you see a radius meeting a tangent, it will be at 90 degrees. Sum of angles in a quadrilateral four-sided shape is 360 degrees. And angles at a center of a circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference of the circle by the same arc or chord. Okay, assuming that you would have done this topic before, let's um, go through this question. Now, if you, just in case you're, you know, you're lost with, with these terms like radius and tangents, quadrilaterals, etc., you can see my other video, um, my teacher notes, um, for the uh, one hour and about an hour and a half video on circle theorems. This video promised to be pretty short, so let's go right into the question. Well, first we have to inspect this um, circle and see what um, lines we have, types of lines. If we notice, I can see that there's something looking like a triangle, but if I went out looking at it, a triangle is a shape bounded by three sides. This shape here is bounded or enclosed by four sides, so this is definitely not a triangle. Okay, so we have one two, three, four sides. This is a, actually a quadrilateral four-sided shape. All right, just not regular one. Now, if you look at this line here, this line is touching the circumference, but not passing through the circle, so it's called a tangent. So we have this tangent, and we have a second tangent here as well. It's not passing through the circle, but barely touching the circle. It's a tangent. We call it the point of tangency. And what we have here is a line starting from the circumference to the center of the circle. I refer to that line as a radius. Again, we have this line here as well, from the center of the circle to the radius. Sorry, center of the circle to the circumference is also a radius. So we have two radii. What about this line? From one point in the circumference to another point in the circumference, a straight line is called a chord. It's not passing through the center of the circle, so it's just a regular card. This is also a card. Okay, so let's look at what we got. So we've seen that we have an angle at the center of the circle. So we have two radius, radii, plural. We have two radii. We have the angle at the center. All right, so these two radii, um, standing on this point right here and point right here, is subtended by this arc. The angle at the center is subtended by this arc right here. So the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So angle B is a half of angle A. Or we can say angle A is twice the value of angle B. Angle A is equal to 2 times the value of B. That's something we should note already, right? If you're really lost with this topic, like I said, you can see my other video in length. And go through the detail, pretty much detail. Now, if you look at this angle right here, this angle, so we, this is the only value that has been given us, given to us, so it's 52 degrees. And what can we say so far? Well, we know that a tangent meets this is a tangent meets a radius at 90 degrees. So that means this angle right here is 90 degrees, and this angle also right here is 90 degrees. A tangent meeting a radius at 90 degrees. So now we have how many angles do we have? Do we have here? So we have one, two. Three, four angles in this quadrilateral. Okay, so this enclosed shape here is a quadrilateral. It has four sides. One, two, three, four sides. It's a quadrilateral, four-sided shape. And it has four angles. One, which is 52 degrees. Another, which is 90. This one is unknown. And this one is 90. The sum of the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees, which is this point made in point two. 
So to find the, the fourth angle here, we can add up all these angles. So angle A is equal to um, 360 degrees minus the sum of the other angles being um, 52 degrees plus, this is 90 plus 90, that's going to be 180 degrees. Okay, this is 180 degrees made of this 90 plus 90. Okay, that's pretty easy to figure out. And so angle A is equal to 360 degrees. Okay, so let's get our calculator quickly. And so we're going to have um, 52 plus 180 is 230. Let's go about that. 232 degrees. So angle A is equal to 360 minus 232. That's 128 degrees. Okay, so angle A is equal to 128 degrees. What's the reason? Well, we figure out what this angle here is. Okay, these two angles, which basically these are um, 90 degrees each, and um, the radius meets a tangent at 90 degrees. So this this one point we can mention that radius. Okay, radius meets tangent at 90 degrees. Okay, not so neat on writing, but it's already mentioned here, right here, okay? So we're going to highlight that point there with an arrow, stick it right there. Okay, and then we can say, well, the reason why we did this is we've got a sum of angles in the triangle is equal to 180. This is the second point. So that's point two, all right? You make a note right there that angle, sum of angles in the, tri in the quadrilateral is equal to 180 degrees. And we solve for A. Now, how do we find B? That's the question. Well, as as noted early on, B is basically angle at this at the circumference. The circumference is the circle, the outer part of the the, bound of the the boundary of the circle, all right, or the distance around a circle. This is actually a circumference. This angle is right at the circumference. It's going to be half the angle at the center. The angle at the center is 128 degrees. Okay, so angle B is equal to um, angle A divided by 2. Okay, so angle A is 128 degrees divided by 2. And 2 into 128 I figure we have already by 2, 64 degrees. What's the reason for this? The third reason right here. So this, so we can put this in that for the third point. Now you want to write this out in your exam. Angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. Okay, so angle B is 64 degrees. Hope that was helpful. Have a great night.